If you RV full time, then you know about the toast problem. But if you stay tuned, we've got the secret to fix all that. The producers pointed out that some of you may not know about the toast problem, and I find that hard to believe, but okay, let's review. Well, you can try these types because, after all, you don't have electricity, but they're cumbersome and hard to use, and the toast doesn't stay in them right. And when you put them on the burner, bang, fire. Next came the oven. Doesn't work. So then, you buy a toaster. But you have to run the generator. And it's a little itty bitty toaster and it won't fit in and it doesn't kick back up and it's, it's hard and it takes up counter space. So okay, you're saying, Ed, we get it. You know some way to make some toast that's really good and it doesn't need a toaster. Well, actually, I don't. But Sandy does. And she's going to show you, and you stay tuned, and you're going to really be blown away. You're going to have the crunchiest, most delicious, buttery toast you've ever had. So simple. Almost foolproof, but I still don't think I could do it. And if you subscribe, you can get a lot more other tips and other videos we've done. And if you subscribe to us, you can give one away as a gift. So, come on. Okay, what you're gonna need is either a flat pan or a skillet, either one will work. Um, we have to light ours with a lighter here, so um, I have that there. You need your bread and a paper plate or a regular plate. Um, you're gonna need that. The secret, again, Ed went over this once in our last video, but the secret to this is real butter. Um, a lot of people don't use real butter, but real butter has so much more flavor to it. So we are definitely using real butter for this project. And the bread that we've chosen is the Artesiano. Um, and we really like this because it's a thicker cut than a regular bread. And I think this probably uh, makes your bread turn out better because it's not quite so flimsy and, and can get a nice crispy crust on it. Okay, so I got my burner lit and I put it on the setting number five. Um, don't know if that matters for everybody else's or not, but just got a little pat of butter. You really don't need a lot. Um, the more butter that you put on, the more soggy your bread's gonna be. So just a little pat of butter. We're gonna melt that on the skillet. Just get a nice little layer there. And then we're gonna plop our bread on it. Get a little more butter to do for the other slice. And flop our bread on that one. And let them cook for a few seconds. Okay, so I'm just pulling up the edges. That looks like it's pretty much done on that side. Nice crispy toast. Ouch. Probably should have used a spatula. And now we're going to do the other side. That's one of the secrets to this. Get nice buttery toast. A little bit more butter there. And then we're going to put it down on the other side. A little bit more butter for the other piece. And put this one in there. Alrighty, so we got crispy toast on both sides. And a super buttery flavor. Nice and crispy. You can hear it. So you can also use this technique. Um, of course, the toast would be awesome with gooey eggs or over easy eggs. And uh, also if you wanted to do like a poached egg and put it on top of the toast for breakfast. Um, and for lunch, you can also use this same technique to do your grilled sandwiches, like a grilled cheese sandwich, um, grilled ham and cheese, anything like that. Oh, how about grilled peanut butter and jelly? I haven't tried that yet, but I've been wanting to. So if anybody's tried that, let me know what you think of it. But yeah, awesome for all your sandwiches. Mm. 
Mm, so good. Buttery, crunchy. This has really got everything going on.